Hey everyone, Reaper Gaming here and welcome back to another video. This one's going to be a bit more lengthy, but it will be for your benefit. I can't guarantee that this will work for everyone. It's worked for me and it has helped a couple of other people out in the past. Now the reason for this particular video is, as the title says, a personal backup of your save game data files, whether it's for Surrounded or maybe another Steam game. So the three main reasons are... Um, if you're going to play this game, or maybe any other game, on a new system, whether it be a stand PC or a laptop, the cloud sync does not seem to integrate all those save game data files for some reason. Um, reason number two, if you have to do a complete wipe of your PC and do a reinstall of the OS system, or if you're just having technical difficulties with the game itself and you have to do a wipe and don't want to start all over again. Okay, so let's get straight into it. So go ahead and open your file explorer. This is Windows 10. Windows 11 is definitely going to look different, but you will have to take similar steps. So once you've opened that, at the top right here, there's a little drop down arrow. Go ahead and click that once. Make sure that this is on view. And at the right section here, you'll notice there are three folders here that are unchecked. The bottom one hidden items that's the one that you want to look for go ahead and make sure that that box is checked and you might see a little flash on your PC but that's okay click that arrow back up now go into your C drive go down to where it says users now whatever you've named your PC go ahead and double click that mine's Bulldog and now you'll see this folder here the one that I've just highlighted is called app data that's where all your save game data goes for surround dead and maybe some other games that you have on steam and this file is normally hidden that's why we went through those steps a little while ago so go ahead and double click that go to the top one where it says local and now we want to find the surround dead folder here's mine double click that once and here we go here's all your save game data so if you just right click and copy okay now in the next step you can either use a external hard drive a thumb drive or like I've done here I have multiple hard drives on my PC so I've got one called games and as you can see here I've created a folder called surround dead backup save as you and as you can see here in this folder I've already got saved data from my last game but I'm gonna right click and paste and now it's asking me to replace the files in the destination, which I'm going to do. So that's a total fresh backup of the previous game that I've played. And that's basically your backup done. Now, if you want to do multiple backups of different characters, you can do this. You would just have to do, like, for example, here, this is Surround Dead. You would just have to create a new folder and call it maybe Surround Dead number 2, 3, 4, 5, etc., etc., because the game currently does not have any multiple save game data files okay now let's get back into if you've done this and you want to play on a different platform you've got a new pc or whatever the case may be and you want to use that particular save game data again so you would come into the folder where you've just done one of your backups you would right click hit copy then go back into your c drive users whatever your pc name is the app data folder local find your surrounded game double click inside that and then all you would do is come in here and right click it will prompt you to replace all the files which is what you're going to want to do so that your previous save game is initiated in there after all this is said and done i would highly recommend that you verify the files within steam Maybe give Steam a quick restart and you should be good to go. So that's basically it for this video, guys. But first and foremost, before I end, I just want to say thanks to everyone that has liked and subbed the channel so far. And Dark Soul is a live streamer on Twitch. I will leave his link below in the description. Thanks again for watching, guys. I hope this has helped you out. Take care and I'll see you all in the next one.